Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video of Game Gain Linux. This time around I'm playing a game called The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, which is a very, very, very good game. It's a roguelike, well it's, I don't know if it's a, yeah it is a roguelike game, what am I talking about? It's a roguelike game, so basically every time you die you sort of have to start over again. But each time you start over again, you basically just bunch a lot of like stuff up. How do, we, how do we even explain it? Oh, I put a game by accident. You bunch up a load of... Uh, oh my god, <laughs> my words are broken. You unlock loads of things <laughs> to kill people. <laughs> and you use them things to kill people and it's different every time. That, I, I guess that's one way to word it, but... Yeah, here's the start of the basement, so every time the, the, the levels are a lot different. So as you can see, this is the thing I was on about. So there you go, damage up straight away, which is awesome. Ah! I hate when the flames do that, unexpectedly. Uh, so, I mean, you can use a keyboard if you want. Um, you can also add a second person onto the PC version, which me and my girlfriend tried the other day, and it's quite interesting. Uh, and hard, very hard. Hello, bombs. Hello, bomb. Ah! That was a pointless room to go in, god damn. There's always a risk going in that room. Oh, hello. I'm using a keyboard at the moment. Uh, I usually use a joypad. Well, I usually play this game on a Vita actually, so... Uh, the Vita or PS4, so I, th I thought I'd get it on the PC just to try... Um, the two-player, the co-op, because I heard about the co-op. And it, it's quite interesting. Uh, I, I also wanted to get a video on Linux as well to, to show you guys this game. <laughs> It doesn't look like a, like an impressive looking game. Like you, at first glance, you, you see it. And it's not the, you know, it doesn't stand out above anything really. But it's one of them. You got to try it to love this game. And honestly, like it does get very addictive uh, and very frustrating sometimes as well. Because obviously, you get quite far into a run, uh, you can die. Like. I, it's so annoying. Sometimes you get things that make you worse, like damage down, and some tears you can get as well because you can upgrade your tears uh, when you find certain stuff. Uh, it makes it very difficult to play the game sometimes, uh, which results in death as well. So, there was a lot of elements like that into this game. But yeah, there's, there's also a guy on YouTube called Northern Lion. I've mean, watched a few of his videos, and it's just like, it's incredible. It sort of shows you. It's one of them games that, you know, once you start playing it, it's very addictive. Because Northern Line is basically uploaded like more than three. How many videos is it? It's like 400 or something like that. It's just like all of the videos are about 30 to 40 minutes long. And it's just, it's mental. Like, it's such dedication just to one game. Oh, I hate Dingle. I really hate Dingle. Oh, god damn it, a fly came out of poo. You ain't getting me. As you, can, ooh, as you can see there's bosses as well, so you go against these bosses and uh, they can be quite hard, like like I said, I don't, I really don't like Dingle, I find him to be one of the harder ones, so when he rushes it, ooh, when he rushes it, yeah, uh, and you don't have cover, you do tend to get hurt a lot, as you can see it's quite hard at the start, because, oh, better move away from, ooh, And he usually gives little poos out as well, so... Yep. But, if you master him, you can tend to like beat the bosses without losing lives. Uh, ooh. There you go, beat him now. That's awesome. Little hearts. What's that? Damage and range up, which is pretty good. And if you press start, it actually shows you uh, what you're at at the moment. So as you can see, my range is pretty good, and... My damage is alright as well, so especially for the start of the game. You can see I've got a needle in my arm, which isn't very nice. But every time you collect these accessories in the game, these power-ups, you, you do get like... It does sort of deform your character a little bit. Over time, your character becomes very strange, so to say. Um, you can collect some really weird things and it, you know, it looks diseased. Oh god! You nearly got me. What are you doing, bro? You think you got me? You don't have me. Revel in the power of darkness. Oh god, I don't know how to use this stuff on the... Uh, when I'm using... Oh! Oh, as you can see... 
I am now a... Well... Oh, look at that! That was good, actually. Look at my power. My damage has gone well up. That's awesome. So that thing... Of... Oh. No, it was only for one room. That's not very good, is it? <laughs> I was happy then. God damn it. Oh, I may as well get a heart as well. Now, as you can see, there's an arcade at the bottom. So what I can do is actually u use a coin to get into it. As you can see, just got into it there. There's all always these little rooms that you can sort of let yourself into and you can get some stuff. Uh, I usually like using the, the coin machines. Sometimes you can get more coins and just carry on using them. I found pills! Don't know what that is. There you go, got a key, which is nice. A heart, which is good. Need a heart. Oh, look at my character now, he's dodgy. I think he's like a crackhead. There you go. Now, a couple of times as well I've blown this thing up, like from using it so much and then you, you get like 99 coins for this. Why I always try and use it because that that can happen a lot. And obviously at the same time you do... Oh, hello. No! You bastard! Well, he blew it up. Let's have a little try, a couple of tries on this guy. Oh, is it gonna be? Is it gonna be that one? Oh no, it's not. Let's have another go right. Oh, we can get a coin from this one. Yay, keys! Woohoo! Whoa! It feels lucky! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Okay, maybe I did, but you know. Where's my music on? Why is it all the way down? There you go. I thought it was a bit quiet. Oh, hello. Some of the monsters are very strange as well. Like, they don't always attack you. You, you do come across a couple of them where they just, like, they actually try and run away from you, which sort of adds a weird element to this game where you actually feel sorry for the things that you have to kill, like, to progress into the game, like, <laughs> that, that they probably get scared of you, and it's just like, oh, I wish I didn't have to kill you, and then you have to kill them anyway. Uh, oh, what's this here? Blub blub. I like the key. I like myself into this room in case I get something good. Reusable bomb buddy. Oh, how am I going to use that one? Is it like one or something? Oh, I don't know. Ah, uh -huh. tab. Oh, there's. Oh, if you press tab, you can view your map a little bit larger. Let's see how long you've been playing this for. I let myself into this one because you can usually buy stuff. Your bombs, uh, uh, whatever that is. Not a very helpful room. You can also donate to that box in the corner, and you can you can put an explosive on the donation box, and it spits out the coins that you've donated in the past, which I guess can sort of help. But as you can see, here's a little scared, well, a big scared spider is scared of losing its kids. And I've just brutally murdered the gurglings. Oh, these guys are quite annoying. They just rush at you. That's like acid blood as well, I've really got. Ah! But yeah, it's a game that like me and my girlfriend have just got completely addicted to. Like, we were so happy at the, the concept of co-op on this game. We were just like, what? But it's not as good as you as you expect. Like, I was a bit disappointed, but I guess it's sort of, you know. It, they couldn't, they couldn't make like two very powerful creatures like, <laughs> I guess it would just become a bit too OP and you'd just win in no time. Oh, come on, die. Yay. Oh, hello. Hello there, mister. Look at this. Evil up. So I'm a bit on fire. Shows I'm so evil. Uh. By the way. Caves what? Okay, let's have another look in here. Oh! Oh, hello! For some reason I've just been teleported here. Why the hell was it teleported here? Ah! What's this? Soul converter. How do you... Oh, that's full screen. How do you um, use your actual thing? Let's pause. So no E is a bomb. I don't want to use a bomb. 
Oh, it doesn't actually say, so it's sort of pointless having them things. Oh, oh right, so this is where I got teleported from. It's weird. Oh, hi guys. These guys are annoying. As you can see. Oh, these guys are annoying as well. Come on. Ah! It's getting so annoying. Come on, dude. Fire at me. Oh, for fuck's sake! Come on! Oh, he's getting so annoying. There you go. You feel refreshed and protected. Ah! Somehow both tyres got to do with feeling protected. As you can see, setting fires out as well sort of helps you get your little coins and stuff. Yeah, these are the guys that are actually quite scared of you as well. <laughs> Blow this up, create a bridge. There you go. So these are the chests that actually you don't need uh, a key for. You just knock into it. Some coins for it. Oh, these guys are a bit annoying. Oh. Oh, is it worth it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, a little bit. No, I'm not going to do that one because I'm already half dead. Anyway, I think that's probably enough uh, and 12 minutes into this I didn't realise how far I was. Oh, I might actually go against the boss just uh, for shits and gigs. Might even do awfully. Let's have a look. Peep. Hello, Peep. I don't remember what you do. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's his eye. His eye just come out. Oh, you can't actually damage his eye. You just gotta damage him. So just keep at it. Keep at it. Come on. Seems quite easy enough, though. So. You just gotta watch out for his eye. Z eyes. Hey, look. We got some sort of protection. Oh, so I get um. That's say I feel protected from so when I so yeah okay so you can't actually get hurt that's cool that's a cool that's a very good power up actually I don't like how you have to rely on getting hurt for it to be used but I guess the chances of you getting hurt are quite high so <laughs> but yeah that's definitely enough as you can see I'm progressing quite far already I'd love to carry on playing but. Yeah, you know, I don't want to play too long and bore you guys. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Uh, definitely recommend this game. So make sure you keep an eye out for it uh, on the Steam Steam store. God, I totally broke them. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, rate and subscribe for future content. And um, peace, hello. See you later.